My story began long back, almost 23 years ago. You can say I am 23 years young. I emerged from God's own sankalpa, from His eternal spring of divine love that drenches the entire humanity. I am His creation and this is my story. Ishwaramba Sutta Shriman Purva Sandhya Pravartate Uttishta Satya Saisha Kartavyam Daivamanikam Uttishto Tishta Partisha Uttishta Jagadipate Uttishta Karuna Purna Lokamangala Siddhaye Chitravati Tata Vishala Sushanta Saude While still in his lap, I learned to chant the Suprabhatam, the ritual of waking up Swami. A question would always bother me. When Swami is beyond sleep and wakefulness, then why do we need to wake Him up at all? But then, warmth filled my heart when I understood that it was one of Swami's many ways of providing us an opportunity to serve Him. It was then that I realized that Swami had brought me to existence as a hospital and had given me a similar opportunity. I can only thank Swami for this and hold this opportunity close to my heart. Swami nourished me with His love and warmth. I took my first step holding His hand, cheered and prodded by Him. When I heard doubts about my existence from several corners, I would only hold His hand tighter and look up at my father and He would give me an all-knowing smile with a twinkle in His eye. Reassured, I would look back at the path He wanted me to take. I am a completely free hospital. The only department I do not have is a billing department. Swami taught me to receive all with open arms like He always did without distinction of caste, class, race, nationality or religion. People came to me to rid themselves of their burdens of ill health without having to bear the additional burden of the cost of treatment. They flocked to me from all over the globe to receive the same warmth that Swami showered on me. People started calling me the temple of healing. I feel Swami's love and the values He imbibed in each one of us here is a reason for this name. For us, it is not a job. It is a Swami-given opportunity for being a part of His mission. My sisters and brothers work day in and day out with unflinching love to Swami. Their day begins early in the morning and much before the first patient enters the hospital. Everything happens under the observant gaze of Swami. We all have but one goal and that is to please Swami. 
Excuse me, while talking to you, I forgot that it is almost eight in the morning. The day is already rushing past. It is time for me to make my children comfortable. They are the people I live for and for whom all my brothers and sisters strive to provide care and comfort. Swami is the mother who observes through a million eyes and knows the pain of every heart. When people walk into the outpatient departments, let me tell you, they warily walk into Swami's warm and reassuring embrace. Everybody is His own, be they of any caste, nationality or religion. They may be children or adults, but for Mother Sai, all are her children. Swami taught me to walk along on His path towards the lofty goal. I remember the days He walked holding my hands and the days when He cradled me in His arms. I still remember what Swami taught us long ago. He told us to see a patient with a smiling face. He told me that it would be like giving a glucose boost to the patient. And do you want to know how many such people have got this boost in our outpatient departments? Nearly 23 lakh people from India and other countries in the last 23 years. And through it all has been the seen and the unseen hand of Swami, the Divine Doctor. My shoulders were taking on more responsibilities. I had started with cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery and now new departments had started, those of ophthalmology, urology, plastic surgery and orthopedics. With more people visiting the hospital, the facilities also increased. Whatever my needs may be, they were fulfilled by Swami. He wanted only the best for me to serve my children and therefore we had state-of-the-art equipment, the best found anywhere in the world. The diagnostic laboratories have always had the latest equipment to aid in the diagnosis of ailments, be it the semi-automatic analyzer in hematology, the fully automated chemistry analyzer in biochemistry or the new ELISA workstation in microbiology. All of these are the most modern tools available to any laboratory. These modern equipment help to reduce the time taken for patient care by being able to handle batches of large samples at one go. Swami has always made sure that the suffering do not have to wait too long for a diagnosis. A large number of patients meant that there was a need to expand and upgrade the laboratory services. It is towards this end that a few months ago, a new area for the laboratories was inaugurated. You know what this is? Swami, just a month ago, blessed us with one of the best MRI machines in the world. This 1.5 Tesla 32 channel MRI offers the best quality images in the shortest possible time. Equipped with features such as TIM and DOT, it is a dream for any imaging department to provide such patient service. I have 13 operating theatres and 5 procedural rooms. These operating theatres and procedural rooms have been busy from the day Swami inaugurated me on the 22nd of November 1991. These are the life centres where my brothers and sisters serve to give people a new lease of life. 
so that they have a heart that beats for him eyes that would witness his creation and limbs which would help them walk on his path more than 2 lakh surgeries have been performed in the surgical complexes of this hospital we know that patient care does not end with a surgery the spirit of patient care which swami expects from each one of us starts at the outpatient department and continues through the surgery to the most important aspect of post surgical care in the intensive care units after the intensive care units the patients are now cared for in the wards where they are tended to until they are fit to go home in all i have 300 beds in which patients get better with the love that my sisters shower all the patients whatever their age may be become children even during the time i was being built swami the master planner ensured in the design that there would be plenty of natural light and ventilation in all the cubicles of all the wards i must share with you an interesting fact in the book hospital architecture published by the longman group in united kingdom paul james and tony nooks the authors placed me among the 50 best hospitals in the world they said they had two reasons for doing so the first was the philosophy of the holy man who said that healthcare and education should be free for all mankind the second reason this hospital in their own words had the best fusion of form and functionality i realized one day that it was difficult for those who have been operated here to come back for a checkup from a long distance away and yes there are some who consult my doctors without even visiting me unbelievable this is telemedicine what you are seeing is one of my cardiac surgeons consulting patients in west bengal who have had heart surgery done here in october this year did i tell you that swami has made me one of the most it enabled hospitals in the country which makes me filmless and paperless all the departments in the hospital are networked to the information technology department which provides my doctors instant and easy access to patient records and their diagnostic results i am told that there are seven levels of it enablement in healthcare and that we stand at the sixth level which only a very few hospitals in the country have been able to achieve each patient in the hospital has a unique identification number and all the medical records are available on the computer network against that number in the electronic hospital information system all the medical images of investigation that a patient undergoes in this hospital whether it is an x-ray a ct scan an mri a nuclear medicine study a diagnostic cath or an echocardiography are stored digitally and are available to the doctors all over the hospital the very instant these investigations are completed when the doctor is on rounds in the wards along with him travels a computer on wheels this is a wirelessly networked computer which gives 
all the patient records and images at every patient's bedside. I would say, not only were the machines state of the art, but also the persons whom he chose to work in the hospital were the best. Some of my brothers and sisters joined the hospital right at the beginning and are continuing to work in the hospital even till today. What you're seeing now is an academic session between the doctors of my hospital and the doctors of my sister hospital at Whitefield, Bangalore. Almost all specialities in this hospital run the DNB course. I have close to 40 such doctors pursuing their post-graduation here. These doctors are trained not only by the teachers in this hospital, but also by specialists from India and abroad. I am a unique hospital where students also learn about the divine healthcare principles of our dear Swami. Here, we see a practical class being conducted in the nuclear medicine department. And the students, they are a part of the MTEC course, which is being jointly run by me and my sister institution, the Sri Satyasai Institute of Higher Learning, Prashanti Nilayam. Did I mention that Swami has provided me with a rich library which has the latest journals from all over the world that are useful for all specialties of this hospital? Sometimes I wonder where I would be without my brothers and sisters who come to me from all over the country to serve my patients just because of their love for Swami. They are the Sevadals who come here from all walks of life. They are an integral part of this entire patient care system. At any given point in time, there are around 200 Sevadals, women and men, performing selfless service at the hospital. The dedication, sincerity, an enthusiasm with which they render any work given to them is a matter of great pride for me. After a hard and satisfying day's work, my sisters and brothers leave my precincts to go to the mandir to offer their gratitude to Swami, to go home to their families and friends to play with their children and bend their bodies in some sports and games so that they are refreshed in mind and body to start again the next day. The day has ended for the sun. But my work continues. I do not sleep. I continue to ensure that those of my children who need my care in the wards, ICUs and emergency room receive that care. Are you getting the aroma of delicious food? Ah! That is dinner being cooked for the patients. Swami was very particular that my children ate the food that was made with love as the main ingredient. This delicious and nutritious food is brought to all my children right on time, every time, by the Department of Dietary. The entire process starts with my sisters finding out the individual dietary requirement of every patient. They then make these into delicious dishes and finally have it served to every patient and ensure that they are satisfied with the food. 
this is home cooking away from home. As I said, I do not sleep. I cannot afford to. Here is my ambulance bringing in a very sick patient who needs immediate care. My sisters and brothers are always on the alert to receive and attend to such patients 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The night dissolves into day and day into night. But I stand awake and alert at all times and will continue to do so in response to the command of my Lord. Twenty-three years and a million emotions from the fear to take the first step to the pride of standing tall on my feet. From the warmth of your touch to your distant reassuring gaze. From the insouciance of my childhood to the responsibility of being an adult. I have seen them all, Swami. I have seen them all. Yet, I still feel like returning to your lap. When I open my arms and look at the heavens, I can't see the stars because my eyes are moist. I then close my eyes and smile because I know that you are there, smiling back at me. Then, hope fills my heart and drips from my eyes, for I know that beyond the dusk is a new tomorrow.